COPD is usually caused by cigarette smoking, particularly in the United States and other developed countries. Other causes may include air pollution, fires, dust, chemical fumes, exposure to any kind of irritant to the lung, especially over a long period of time. As a school custodian, Victoria inhaled fumes from chemical cleaning agents on a daily basis. She was also a smoker for many years. But even as a young woman, she had respiratory problems that were very serious for her age. Actually, in my late teens, I was having trouble with my breathing. It was in my mid-20s that I first was told uh, that I had COPD. Much later, she learned she had inherited a gene that put her at higher risk for the disease. Those who basically have a genetic deficiency called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency are predisposed to develop COPD. COPD can have symptoms similar to other conditions. So along with a physical exam and medical history, nice and easy and testing is required to confirm Good. the diagnosis. Nice and normal. Spirometry measures the air in the lungs and how fast it's exhaled. Deep breath in, breathe in deep, push it out, push, 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 push. A blood push, test, push, push, chest x-ray, or CAT scan may be ordered as well. Okay, a couple more deep breaths. Finding out you have COPD can be a shock, but knowing what you're dealing with helps you move forward. When I got the diagnosis, uh, I was relieved because I knew what it was. There's nothing worse than not knowing.